Hey guys! This just sounded really too excited. So I'm gonna do my Ipsy for I believe December. I'm not 100% sure because they've been really off and I don't know if it's because I'm in Canada and Canada Post kind of just like had everything, you know, just like lost basically. Or if like just Ipsy is off, I'm not sure. Either way, I did get it. It is today, December 30th. So I'm, this like, I'm sure it's for December. It's like in like a silver, silver, a gold pouch and like, Oh, if I read this, it says, be merry, be bright, be bold, be you. Yeah, December glam bag. Blah, blah, blah. So I did get two extras with mine. I have to go back in my, like, email and, like, see what I picked. Because it shows that I picked two extra things, which I know that I did. I paid six extra dollars. But I don't remember picking these two things, like, at all. Usually, I feel like I would have some recollection of what I picked. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I do not think it was these two things. I don't think I would have got especially this lipstick for myself. So I'll show you those two things first. Like packaging wise, color wise, I don't know. It just doesn't look like something I would have picked out. So the first thing is by INM and it's a frozen lipstick, I guess. It also says Runway Red. I think that's the actual shade of it though. So. Packaging is like honestly super cheap Looks like that, but it's this like Weird like red and I Can't even open it. It's like, this like weird like red And gold do you see that I don't I don't get it I have yet to swatch it because I haven't a hundred percent decided if I'm even going to keep it and if I'm not gonna keep it I don't want to swatch it so it's like neat, but I don't know. I mean, it was only $3, but I, I just don't remember picking this out. This just like doesn't seem like something I would pick out. So I want to go back and look and make sure that I did order this and that they didn't just send me the wrong thing because I'm sure that that could very easily happen, especially with these like add-ons that you like, you know, pick yourself. The other thing I can totally see possibly that like I picked this out. It's in a package that's, I don't know. Topaz orange. I don't know what it is. It says it's by Steve Laurent and Does it say what it's a loose powder and I like saw that first and I was like for my face Because like again that doesn't like seem like something I would pick out because I've really been liking the hourglass one um, But I think it's just like a pigment How the frig do you even open it? And I think it's like it says antique olive I feel like you're never gonna be able to see that color. Looks more gold to me, I don't know. This I feel like I possibly picked out. This is like really cheap packaging, like the box makes it look way more like luxe than it is. This is like, meh, meh. glad it was only $3, just saying. Again, I haven't tried the product, I'm not sure. It might be really nice. And my actual bag, I think, I think because like the reason that I think that it was those two that I picked for my extra three dollars is because they were loose in the bag So that to me means they were like added afterwards. I don't remember. I got the email literally like a month ago So the bag is this Honestly, it's kind of like cheap sequins. It's you know, not really great quality. It doesn't like flake off They're like sewn in which I guess is nice um, And then it has like a little tassel on the end of it. It comes with two brushes Mine, sorry, came with two brushes. This one actually looks really nice. Like I'm actually, you know, I'm here for this brush. So this is by F-A-R-A-H, Farah, I guess. And I don't think it says what it's for. It says it's a 35E. Obviously, this is an eye brush. It's very fluffy. I would probably just use it like right in my transition, I guess, because it's quite big. Like this is actually quite large to use on your eye, but it's a really nice brush. It's really like small. It feels really nice. I don't know. I'm pretty pleased with this, to be honest. The next one is like literally in like a candy packaging. Like, I don't know. I don't think so. You scared me because it's so dark. Wait, yes it does. As if I can read that. I think it says something 136. I don't know. Looks like a highlighting brush to me. I'm not sure if it is. Again, I didn't really like read my thing. I just picked the like additional, you know, add-ons. 
The next thing is the Porefessional. It's like a super tiny, like, trial, you know, try me out, um, size. I hate this. I literally hate Porefessional, so I will not be using this. It's also just like so small, like how many uses are you going to get out of this? Well, it doesn't even look like it's the same size as the 100 point perk, so I'm not like overly ecstatic about this. Like I said, I don't even like it, so I'll just pass this on to someone else. The next thing I got, I actually, it wasn't this brand, but the last time that I did add-ons, I actually added a brow definer to it, and again, it was $3. This one... I don't think I'm going to even open and use because I didn't like that last one. I'm still buying my Kat Von D one, so I don't even think I'm going to use it. It also says that it's taupe, and I specifically put in that like my hair color was like dark brown. So I don't think it would be dark enough for me. My eyebrow color is like exactly what my eyebrows look like right now. So no bueno for this. It probably works well, but it's probably also a little too thick for what I like using anyways. So it's gone. So I also got a little The Bomb eyeshadow. These are always cute. Like, they always look really nice, and, you know, the packaging is cute. But picking up a single eyeshadow, I have to, like, love it and have already used it in order to pick one up. So this says, foiled again, foil eyeshadow, and apparently it's in red-handed, I'm going to assume. Is that even going to focus? Down here, it says red-handed. So it looks like that very pigmented as it should be you know a foiled shadow it's nice it's fine I haven't used it on my face my eyes sorry my eyes yet um, so we'll see about that not bad don't mind the color mediocre it's okay I probably wouldn't have like picked this but am I mad about it no it's by Grace and Stella it is a Dead Sea mud mask it says it you know a deep skin cleanser, um, you use it twice a week, yada yada, put it on for 10 minutes, rinse it off. I haven't opened this, so let's open it. Let's open her up. This I'm going to try, I'm going to use it. The packaging's pretty cute though. Um, and even though, like, I don't love masks, like if I'm going to wear a mask, I usually pick a sheet mask just because you literally peel it off and then you rub the rest of it into your face. I don't really like things you have to like wash off because I'm terrible at washing my face. Anyone else out there terrible and make a huge mess of water all over the counter? Hi, hello, me. Meet Mud, your skin's new best friend. Okay, great. Oh, it's also cruelty free. We love that. Anyways, that's the end of my Ipsy bag. I like the brushes. I like when you get brushes, but when you get all these things that are like really small, like sample sizes, it just kind of like irks me the wrong way. And I mean, I only got, I only got really the one, but I also know I'm not going to use um, the brow definer. I'm not overly excited about the eyeshadow. It's just like, okay. And that lipstick just looks so cheap. So I'm just kind of like, eh. Every month I like see one thing that I like and all the rest of it is kind of like, eh. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to subscribe to Ipsy because I think it does, I think it's like around $24. Canadian by the time you like pay shipping and all that jazz and I mean BoxyCharm is like 34 but you get like five full-size products should I switch tell me do I just take a couple months off maybe I just take a couple months off I don't know 2019 tell me spit me in the right direction anyways thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video if you still get ipsy let me know down below what your favorite thing was this month since I mean they're kind of all over the place to kind of just send whatever they want to whoever they want. So let me know if you're still enjoying it. Maybe let me know if you've been with Ipsy and you kicked it over to BoxyCharm. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.